Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved No Short Run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but swords and sorcery. So no shots, no heavy weapons, no explosives, nothing. It is time for the final Chosen, the Hunter, the melee immune regeneration, hardcore enemy. The one that really, really drives uh, this campaign into a long slugfest. And the idea is we're going to invade him Avenger with almost exclusively Psy operatives uh, to teach him a lesson about A, that class being entirely overpowered, and B, uh, we're not caring about his melee immunity. On the flip side of that, uh, since Psy operatives aren't uh, necessarily growing on trees, we could uh, to this point only master two of uh, them uh, to begin with to fully max out uh, Psy operatives Dark Tower Noxus and Death Galleon Poe um, and we got two new ones XQS6 here plus um, heads both of them more recent additions uh, so to speak as our frontliner we're going to take Hawkbite with us and um, a really needy negative trade recovery to end. So I'm a bit concerned to not let this run any further because uh, at the same time, whilst I'm uh, preparing this mission, uh, the Chosen is trying to shoot us down and we want, of course, not to defend against him. If we kill him before that happens, um, we have immediately gained, uh, taken him out of uh, the entire fight. So, we're hitting two birds with one stone. It's, I think, it has been a long time since I've played with for Psy operatives, they are so strong, but they need their time to uh, fully develop. Let me uh, first and foremost uh, equip everyone and then we can give it a go. Fantastic. So this time we have a bit of a different loadout. I gave almost everyone stasis vests. Uh, these are effectively six additional hit points, heal and can remove bleeding. Uh, which is important because we are going to get hit eventually and the bleeding will cause a bit of uh, problem. We only got uh, four charges uh, with our uh, medical protocol in a group heal. So I figured instead of bringing like too many Mimic Peekins that we really don't, uh, don't need, uh, the actual end fight uh, will require us to heal and thus uh, we have brought the ability to do exactly that uh, with us. Both of them here have sustenance, uh, so I'm not terribly concerned uh, that we would lose them. But yeah, overall, uh, a little bit extra hit points, as you can see, uh, that goes a long way. And a lot of mind shields, so I think with that we can jump right into it. The idea is to use as little as possible of our consumables on the first part and all of the consumables actually on the second part. Good, uh, we're back on track. Uh, let us uh, move further. That didn't stop us before and it won't stop us today. You know what to do. Locking on to the Oh yeah, we know what to do. Dark Town Oxus takes one up um, and move out. I was hoping Edgar Alien Paul take takes uh, the other one. Space. Donar moves here. Now, XQ6 moves here. Heads moves there. And good old Hogbite takes the middle. Fantastic. Let's take a portal, shall we? Wait, wait, wait. What is happening over here? No. It doesn't really look like as if there are any bad guys in here.
but there is an open door on the other side. For now, let's What's over there? move in carefully. Roger that. It is clear. Moving to position. All right, so far so good. Moving up. I'd like to say you're walking into some sort of elaborate trap. Okay, down die. here. To be honest, I never thought this here very much looks like the end. So, just moving over here, double checking. All right, not triggering anything. Affirmative. Running. Head carrying pole. On my way. Heads and finally sonar. Rolling. Again, in turn. Pretty sure there could be something ambushing us from the left hand side. I suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing good. the defenses. Let's see. I have to say, I'm rooting for you. There is Apex right the here. Conversationalists. Almost looks like a pack of four. One, two, three, four. Well, hello there. We knew there'd be resistance today. You know what to do. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Good. So we're dealing with quite a few enemies. Okay, somehow all of that just took a lot of uh, calculation capacity. XQ6. Moves over here should not trigger any Overwatch because the door is closed. And this here deals with the Overwatch and one of those guys. Null lenses is um, something special. All right, stasis number one. That's why we didn't really need any of the mimic beacons. And let's kill this guy here. Fantastic. Absolutely. Moving up. All will suffer. Third null lens. Is the charm. Wow, the tower is almost down immediately. Good. Hogbite moves up, deals with the Andromedon. It's a bit of focus. And we'll have him well under control. Moving out. 
Good. Well, that was a fun little round. Specifically when we killed like all of them. Hogbite directly starts with uh, three out of three focus and look at that. Fantastic. This game was a lot more fun when you followed the rules. Well, if you're not going to play nice, neither will I. Good, we're moving over here. Starting with yet another Null Lens. Yep. Very nice damage. Yet, want to hand over a teamwork too early. Hogbite's also not going to use anything that he could use a bit later. Instead, Hogbite is taking care of these guys over here. We're going to let him st uh, stay there. Void Rift would hit all three. So that's not a bad idea. Might as well start with that, yep. Unfortunately, he does not yet have the rider effects on the Void Rift. Never mind. We got the mind control. Fantastic. So, what are we going to do with the rest here? Hogbite oh, could stand over here. Or alternatively deal with the stun lance on the other side. I think we might use him to deal with a stun lancer to be honest. Keep going. Good. Him standing here also will keep uh, the mech in, uh, checks, uh, in check for closing the door and we're moving over one. here
There's a chance for another mind control. The rip will set you free. If not, it might spread uh, the Archon or disorient. Now, the natural question is, do we need a Mimic Beacon or not? Uh, this is going to be Psionic uh, Bomb, so it doesn't matter for us. He's dead, he will hit into parry, and he's most likely going to attack over uh, his friend over there. Hence, I'm just going to use a normal Eight protocol. Big army flank! Yeah, there's the psionic bomb I was talking about. This guy simply wants to get hit one more time. All right, so far so good. I should probably start going on and on now about how I will defeat you for the glory of the elders. But let's be real. I just like to kill things. Good, we could use stasis in order to deal with the Archon. Nah, not going to explode anything. Deep sonic bomb. I think you're melting. The codex is a bit nasty for us to deal with. Basically, the clones make it difficult because they never really cluster up. Only a 66% chance to kill it. Feeling uneasy. But we're running out of cooldowns. By the way, that was a fantastic hit. Alright, inspiring. And yeah, normally. Running out of pull-downs is absolutely no problem with the Psy operatives because realistically, guys, at this point, um, if we would go all out, we would have dominated three or four enemies already. And essentially would have uh, had so many... Uh, so many... allies on, on the battlefield from our side. That uh, that the enemy wouldn't have had much of a chance to begin with. Plus, if you really run out of cooldowns with the Psy Operatives, they can hit quite well. They have decent aim progression. Of course, in this particular run, it's all down to the Psy abilities. So, sustained damage, not that high. But that's why Hogbite is here. 
because he himself plus his ghost is quite a bit of sustained damage. And I mean, it's all relative, right? We've just fought against three Archons, um, uh, which by themselves are almost uh, the most um, tanky enemies in the game. On top of which, we had an Andromedon and a Heavy Mech and a Shield Bearer and an, another Advent. So there was quite a bit of uh, tankiness in the enemies uh, that we've just fought. Oh yeah, and the tower on top. So, like I said, all in all, pretty normal that you would run out of cooldowns at some point. Good, a few more rounds of just reloading and keeping it calm. You weren't going to win this war anyway. And imagine how bad you'd feel watching the elders tear this world apart. I'm doing everyone a favor. Good. Well, let's speed this up here by essentially Heading moving into a safe position move. with the team. And like yeah. I said, we're just resetting the cooldowns a tiny bit. Confirmed. Oh, but I get it. You will do what is needed. You will never give up the fight. For Good. You moving, moving, calm, and you moving at Galen Four. Goes over here. Die. Yeah, there's one more pack, and then potentially one more pack in in the final room. I often wonder, Commander, if which I wonder where that might be. I would suggest probably kind of up here. But no one here. No one there. Just double checking if we if we find them. Okay. Oh, I haven't found anyone here. I hope it's worth it. Good, let's stand as a unit and continue to move. Moving to designated coordinates. Pretty sure we're going to spot out the next the next pack relatively it's soon. Like the they must have just I moved in. Losing my humanity. The fear you are experiencing now must be so exhilarating. I almost wish we could switch places. Almost. I strike for my people. Fantastic. To do something about that armor. Good. The tower is going to die next Not turn. Alright, I'll go. I'm on the move. Everyone else is starting to move in. I'm on it. And that's the end of the tower. So yeah, this here was the Andromedon most likely. Like, yes, it was that. This here is the final room, I can already see that. Strike down the very gods, save humanity, and reclaim the world. Not 
carefully moving a bit closer understood moving out already there I'm all over it all right we'll do fantastic good We're sure we're going to see only one more pack. You are planning on actually fighting me today, aren't you? If not, could you please do me the courtesy and die already? The suspense is killing me. Advent awaits us. Ooh, they opened uh, the door. One thing that I'm wondering is this is so unfair. We're standing essentially behind two walls. And he's just shooting through them. As if they would be non existent. Yeah, Nullens is definitely a fantastic skill. Alright, just double checking that we have not forgotten about anyone over here. It seems to be it. not the case. Go, go, go! Good to go. Transport portal directly ahead. Updating coordinates now. Got right. it. Let's go. Some enemies still left. Just not sure where. Roger that. Ten four. Rolling out. Good. Got it covered. We are moving all the way to the exit and it seems that we've really done it no damage nothing and haven't used the single uh, consumable location confirmed on the move absolutely all right what's over there quite a few psi operators uh, shall i say we're just waiting two more turns. And that brings us to the final room, I would uh, say. Let's see. No, oh, two more turns. Just want to make sure that we have all of the cooldowns. We're ready to go. Good. Now let's ascend and it's the end of uh, today's episode we are going to uh, see us in two days when i am facing uh, the chosen wish me luck and see you soon bye bye